and welcome back to the AQA GCSE History, Britain Health and the People Revision Series. This is episode 9 and we're looking at hospitals. In the 1530s, Henry VIII closed down most of Britain's monasteries. Since most hospitals had been set up and run by monasteries, this also led to the closure of many hospitals. As a result, Britain had relatively few hospitals until the 18th century. From the 18th century, several charity hospitals opened, including Middlesex Infirmary, the London Hospital and Guy's Hospital. They were funded by the rich and offered largely free treatment to the poor. Some specialised in treating certain illnesses or provided somewhere for mothers to give birth. Only patients that were likely to recover were admitted. This was due to the lack of space and because of the risk of illness spreading. The deserving poor had a greater chance of being admitted. Dispensaries provided free, non-residential care to the poor people. Medicines and non-surgical services from people like dentists and midwives were given without charge. Most poor people were treated in workhouses. Conditions were poor, but in the 1850s, a partially successful movement began to improve these conditions. In the 19th century, some hospitals were founded alongside universities or medical schools, Cottage hospitals run by GPs opened from the 1860s. They provided care for people in rural areas. Florence Nightingale studied to become a nurse in 1849, despite opposition from her family. During her career, she helped nursing become a more professional and disciplined. During the Crimean War of 1853 to 1854, Horror stories emerged about the Barrack Hospital in Scarati, where the British wounded were treated. Nightingale was asked to help as a nurse in the war. The army was opposed to female nurses. They were considered inferior and a distraction. Nightingale went anyway, taking 38 hand-picked nurses with her. Using methods from her training in Europe, Nightingale ensured all the walls were clean and hygienic, that water supplies were adequate for her patients and they were fed properly. In 1859, Nightingale published a book called Notes on Nursing. This explained her methods. It emphasised the need for hygiene and a professional attitude. It was the standard textbooks for the generations of nurses to come. The public raised £44,000 to help her train nurses and she set up the Nightingale of School of Nursing in the St Thomas Hospital in London. Nurses there were given three years of training before they could qualify. So that's the end of episode 9 of the AQA GCSE History, Britain Health and the People Revision Series. Next episode we will be looking at Edward Jenner. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.